viewers, let's watch this video. Yo, what's up, fam? It's your boy, Ojo GH. And when you see me, you know we are on this street. Chale, happy new year. Happy new year to each and everyone on this channel. Happy new year to everyone on this platform. We are grateful. We are thankful for all the support, all the love, Chale. The likes, the comments, the reviews, Chale. You people boss, man. You people have been great. You people have been amazing. And from Koji Sheldon Studios, from House of Content, we would want to thank each and everyone supporting the movement. This is on this street. And with your noble host, Ojo GH. Flo, 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 flo. Okay. This year, Chale, we go, we go bring you back to back. We no go slack. Back to back exclusives. We want to make you people enjoy the vibe film. But for now, today's edition is very interesting because it's a political something. B. Let's tackle it. Our trade minister, Honorable Alan Kwejo Chamantin, has resigned. He wants to become the flag bearer of the NPP, the new patriotic party. Charlie, we would want to hit the streets. We want to talk to people and let's hear what they have to say. Let's hear what they think about this. Is it a good call? Mm. <laughs> you and I, we don't know. So let's vibe. Let's talk to them and let's hear what they have to say. This is On This Street with your host, Ojo GH. Let's go. Big Boss, Happy New Year. Happy New Year too. From Kweja Shadi Studios, you're on your streets again. And Charlie, um, so many things are happening in our political environment. And as a citizen of the nation, we would want to have a conversation. Basically, it is about our trade minister, our former, because he has resigned. Alan Kujo Chairman saying he has resigned of his position. He would want to contest for the MPP primaries, the um, presidential primaries. Please, what do you make of his resignation and what do you think about his call? I think from a political standpoint, his decision is the best you could possibly think of making. Because right now, this government has been embroiled in a whole lot of uh, allegations, accusations. He wants to have a good path to his presidency. He doesn't want them to accuse him that, oh, but you are part of the government, you are, you are trying, and how do you expect us to assume that you can bring any kind of significant change into the system so if he wants people to actually listen to his message it's a good decision for him to decide to distance his way uh, himself from this particular government distancing himself from this particular government don't you think he would need his spirit like he would need people around because we are now in 2023 right i think hopefully next year that is when everything ends for the npp basically don't you think it's too early or because of his political ambition, he should go ahead with this. Politics is all about optics. What people see. He, it, when I say distancing himself from this particular government, it doesn't mean, oh, he's not really vibing with all his friends or his his colleagues and mates in the, in the government right now. It's just that if he's not seen as being a major uh, player in this particular government, it gives him a better image to the Ghanaian populace than he being seen as being involved in the day-to-day -day activities of this particular government. That's all I mean by distancing himself from the government. Nice one. I'm Big Boss. Currently, we have so many names that have popped up. Our, our Greek minister has also resigned. He would want to contest for the MPP primaries. Honorable, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, our only Honorable, Honorable Kennedy a Japan is also on the list and other few people are on the list they would want to contest for this presidential primaries who do you think qualifies best or i should say who do you think would be a good candidate or a good choice for the ticket of the mpp coming 2024 agric minister doesn't have a choice he doesn't have a chance he should just get out of the race if he's planning on contesting i think kennedy is very charismatic the Ghanaians like him he's very confident when he speaks it will be a, it will be a, it will be a pull and push. Uh, our our chairman today, Del <laughs> Bawizi, <laughs> Baumia. <laughs> what do you also think about him? I don't think Baumia is a bad candidate, but I think where this government has got into, or how bad things went with he being the head of the economic management team, people will not think of, people will not think it's the best idea to make him the flag bearer of the MPP. That's all. 
Who are you taking for this one? Uh, it will be a tight race, but I think Chairman T will take it. Chairman T all the way. Big boss, Charlie, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Afternoon. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. I'm great. Charlie, if I see fine girl, like I always say, 2023, God for bless me plus more fine girls on this timeline. I am Joe. What's your name? Prisla. Prisla. We are on the streets of Accra, and today's question is very political. I should put it that way. Our trade minister, Honorable Alan Chomantin, has resigned because he would want to become a president. So he would want to stand for the primaries, MPP coming primaries. Please, what do you make of this call? Do you think it's a good call? Or you think it's too early? I would want to ask a question, right? Hey, let me see Yanko. Was he, has he been a good trade minister? If we look at his term of office, if he's been good, and probably you know that he has done much work to help the trades industry. Why not? He should go ahead. But if he has failed here, Charlie, it's a no. Shouldn't even go there. If he has failed here, it's a no. The question is, has he been a good trades minister? Hey, what is that, Samu? It's a million-dollar question. But, well, um, the delegate would have to say. But for you, you think if he has been a, a good trades minister, then he has a chance? Yes, because he's going to lead people. So why not? Uh, deep, my nigga, deep, deep. Where do I can send pan? Hey, nice talking to you, why? Thank you. <laughs> Big boss, good afternoon. Afternoon, sir. I'll be, oh, actually, I'll, I'll be great, I'll be great. I'll be, oh, Joe, I beg, what be your name? Abdul Rahim. Abdul Rahim. We are on your streets again, and today is very um, political because we are entering the political scene. Our trade minister, let's say former, because he has resigned, Honorable Alan Kwejo Chairman Singh. Yes, we are resigning. And the reason is because he would want to contest for the presidential primaries 2024 MPP. Then they can't end the matena. Where he to say he won't stand for presidency. I beg, what do you make of this? What do you think of this call? <laughs> well, uh, for them, for him, they are, they are all the same. Because you are part of the one, the mess government like this. The mess, this mess regime, you are, he's part of it. So what, what is the new thing? What you have is to, he should use it to help the current one. So Realize. Like, uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> relax. 2023, where you already choose violence like that. <laughs> relax. Calm down. Relax. Relax. Mm -hmm. I beg, relax. <laughs> Take him again. Why you the talk say them all be the same? Why? Because all I mean is that he's part of the cabinet. Yes. He's part of the where they are making the decision. Okay. All this kind of policy that they have been implemented, which is, would let the country into the dick. He's part of it. He can't exclude himself from that. So if you have that better idea, that will come and turn things around. Why can't you use it now? Okay. Somebody would also argue, probably because he's not the head of affairs, he can't really voice out his ideas. Maybe that is why he wants to stand on his own and then bring his ideas. Okay. Because he has learned GTP. That is his ideas. That's what somebody else will argue. What do you think about that? Well, well, I would say, okay, let's come and look at the trade ministry itself, mm -hmm. that sector. Mm -hmm. What are the new things that he has brought that will make the economy, that boost the economy? There's nothing to show. Hey, so you just talk, say that three years or, you know, do, or, hey, six years make me talk, you know, do nothing. Yeah, I don't, see, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Because, I'll do, I'll do. Uh, I mean, I don't see anything. We are it's part of the, the trade ministry. What are the, the that sector no? Let's not extend it to other sector. That sector no. Mm. What are the new policy that he has brought to boost the economy? Okay. That is what you think should yes. be the question. Yes. So there's nothing to show. Okay. That's so called uh, one district, one factor. I mean, uh, there's nothing impact. If they, if you ask them what the impact they have, it, it like it has for this economy, they they can't be, they can't show anything. They can't show anything. Deep, deep, man, they got deep. Abdul Rahim, boss, Charlie, nice talking. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I am Ojo. Please, what's your name? Okay, my name is Obaya. Ah, Obaya, Charlie. 
2023, the year, God for bless you plus nice, nice girls. So for always to see fine girls, you know, on the timeline. Charlie, it is a political season, I should say, because political things are happening. And we would have to talk about it. Since on these streets, Charlie, we day everywhere. Please, are you aware that our trade minister, Alan Koji Chomantin, has resigned of his post? Yes, I'm very much aware he has. And do you have any idea why he did so? Yes, I do. I, according to the news, he's resigning so that he runs as a running mate or as he runs for presidency. Hey, correct for 17 points. You charm, you charm. Okay, so let's go straight away. What do you think of this call? Do you think it's a good call? Do you think he he made the right call or you feel it was too early or you think it's not really going to work? Okay. Um, back then, in 2018, uh, sorry, 2008, he ran against our current president and he didn't stand a chance. So I think he doesn't stand a chance. He should rather seek to do something else than trying to be the president of Ghana. <laughs> he should try, he should do something else than wanting to be the father of the land. Hey, Abaya, please, why are you saying this? Do you have any personal reason or do you have any agenda against Alan Cash? Oh, no, he's a good person, actually. And I believe he has a lot of potentials, but he should channel it to other other sectors concerning the economy, but not the main papa of the land. Hey. Yes. The way about the talk there, check like this one, cast already. Wait, so you there, you think it's not a good call? Um, I believe that he should leave the, those shoes for other people and then do something else. Hey. Baby, I'm going to be a baby. I'm going to be a Please, nice talking to you. You're welcome. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Oh, I'm great. I'm fine by his grace. I am Joe. What's your name? I'm Lovelyn. Lovelyn. We are on the streets of Accra. Okay. And I would want to ask you a very significant political question. Okay. There is a political wind blowing. So let me just quick chip in this quickly. Yeah. Uh, trade minister. Honorable Alan Kojutramantin has resigned. Please, have you heard of that? Yeah, I have. And do you have any reason? Do you have any idea his reason why he's resigned? Uh, well, I don't know the reason why he resigned, but I think it's his decision. And then I respect that. Okay, yeah. good for your respectation. Madam, for your information, I want you to know that our trade minister has resigned because he wants to be our president. He wants to stand for the ticket of the MPP 2024. So he would want to um or be sort of starting and kakran kakra then the primaries, then when he's he's elected, then he stands. You heard like? Yeah. Oh great, great. What do you think of it? Well, I mean he can give it a chance. It's not bad. So uh if he stands and uh, I don't know if you win, but it's a good call. You think it's a good call? Yes, it is a good call. So you the uh, Alan for 2024? Well, no, but <laughs> I mean, uh, right now, I mean, everything is in a mess in court. Uh -huh. So uh, we don't really know who should take that place in 2024. But I mean, anyone who is interested can go for it and then the people will decide. Okay. Yeah. So if he is going for it, you think it's a good call, you're okay? Well, it's his decision and the people will decide. The people will decide. She's lovely. Charlie, nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Yo, big boss. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Um, I'm Joe. What's your name? Kofi. Kofi. We are on the streets of Accra. And the name of this show, it's on these streets. So we're asking questions, basically. And we're having opinions. We're having ideas all around. So I would want to ask you a political question. Okay. Um... Are you very much aware, or do you know, sir, our current trade minister has resigned, please? Yes. You know? Yes, yes, please. Honorable Kojo Alan Chomantin has resigned. Yes. Do you have any idea the reason why? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, in order for you to stand in as a presidential candidate for the vacant position that has been there, he has to resign so that he stand. Uh, to be elected as the presidential candidate for the MPP, the new Patriotic Party. Okay. 
So what do you make of this call? Do you think it's a good call or do you think it's too early or you feel he shouldn't have even done that in the first place? Oh, no. I think it's a, a good idea for him to see his chances in the party, how strong he is. We all knew what uh, transpired between him and Okufuado during previous MPP presidential elections. And I think this is his time. You think this is his time? Yes. The other candidates such as um, Kennedy Japan and Baomiya and so, but I think he will give them a run for their money. I he think will, he will give them a run. Yes. That yeah. is what you think? Yes. That is what I think. Hey, what have you seen? Oh, I mean, he's one person that has stand before as a presidential uh, candidate for the MPP. The rest are new. Kennedy, Japan didn't stand. Baumia also didn't stand. So I think in terms of popularity, it's popular, it's popular with the MPP fraternity. So I think he's done a good chance. That's my view. Okay, okay. Big Boss, nice talking to you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much.